Hey, I'll rev, what are you collecting for now? Oh, you <laughs> cynical heart. I wanted to talk to you about running a disco for me. Village Hall? Yes, for the youth club. I can't afford payment. I'll do it, I'll do it. Splendid. Pop round later, we'll sort out the details. I appreciate it, you know. It's just a... I thought you might be a bit down on me after Miss Belloway. Who am I to judge? You're a vicar. But just a man. Yeah, well, whatever. You made my week. <laughs> we aim to please. After everything that's gone on recently, it's nice to know that some people still have faith in me. Of course they do. See you later. <sighs> GK have got supermarkets all over the place. If we do them a good job running a shopper's bus from the village, who knows what else they might put our way? Bottom line, Sean, I'm not prepared to pull one of our drivers off a well-paid job because of your little minibus. No. What you don't like is it wasn't your idea. You don't want me using my own flaming initiative. Yeah, and we all know where that's got us in the past. Oh, come on, at least give the idea a try. But where's the vehicle going to come from? We can lease it. <sighs> More expense. Look, there are tons of villagers between here and the supermarket who haven't got access to a car. <laughs> we'll fill the bus every journey, earn our brownie points with GK and plenty of good PR with the village. Well, what do you mean? No. Now we've rerouted our lorries through Emmerdale, Tate Haulage isn't exactly popular with the locals. <laughs> who cares? It wouldn't hurt to regain a bit of goodwill. You never know when you might need it. Well, OK, do it. But for a trial run. You'll thank me for this one, day. But you're not using our drivers. What? Hire a pensioner who needs a bit of pocket money. Morning, love. Hope you get more joy out of him than I did. What was all that about? Oh, just Sean having delusions of adequacy again. I see you're still going to the funeral. Yep. Look, I'm sorry I know how you feel, but... Well, now I've got to go. I've paid for it. You did what? I didn't want him buried in a pauper's grave, so I've asked Ashley to conduct the service. I mean, every time I visit Dad's grave, Liam will be nearby, a, a constant reminder of everything that's happened. How could you be so thoughtless? Because I thought we owed him something. You idiot, Chris. How do you think this is going to look to Spalding? Like guilt money. You forget Spalding. The case is closed. I've got to go. I've got to see Ashley about the service. Morning, all. I don't suppose anyone's seen my walking boots? No. You're back for a ramble, then? Yes, yes, I thought I'd take a yomp up the crags. Don't suppose I could join you? <coughs> that would be my pleasure. I, I could show you some of the local beauty spots. I bet you know them all. I don't think you'll make it in high heels, Mother. Well, I'm sure you've got something I could borrow. After all, you're such a sensible girl. Uh, that, that's great. I, I'll find my boots and, uh, and you get ready. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. You'll still be trying to pull on your deathbed, won't you? Listen, girl, I'm a long way off me dotage, and if there's a bit of happiness to be had out there, I'm the last to grab it. Yeah, well, don't muck Alan about. He's a lovely man. You make me sound like a right vamp. Still got me looks the way. Hardly a line on this clock. <sighs> I think it's true what they say. Eh? That eventually you become your own mother. Chicky madam. <laughs> I'm very surprised that you're paying for the funeral. It's an astonishing act of forgiveness. I suppose I felt sorry for him. He didn't have the same chances in life that I had. Perhaps. But this man kidnapped you. He, he, he desecrated your father's grave. I got to know him quite well in a strange kind of a way. He was very confused very damaged. I sort of believe that he wasn't really responsible for what he did. I wondered, with your permission, if my theme for his address might be that of forgiveness. It would seem rather apt. Sure. Will there be a headstone? Yes. If you need any help composing the inscription... It's OK. I've, I've already ordered it. I couldn't ask for more thoughtfulness. No, it's just very simple. His name, dates, and the line, bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. Genesis. I didn't realise you were a student of the Bible. <laughs> Believe me, I am not. I look through a book of quotations for inspiration for something apt. Mm, an unusual choice. I, I don't think I've seen it on a headstone before. You must excuse me, Chris. I have other matters to attend to before this afternoon's funeral. I'll see you there.
Favourite film? Uh, Brief Encounter. You old romantic. <laughs> Favourite song? Reach out and I'll be there by the four tops. Oh, I've got a good one. Favourite animal? A bear. Just like you. Big, friendly, cuddly bear. I mean, fat and unattractive. Men. Why can't you appreciate what you are, not hope for what you'll never be? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't understand. I'm guessing you've never been slim-hipped with chiselled features and a six-pack. I well, then, yeah. There you go. You weren't born to be Robert Redford, but you are Alan Turner. And he looks good to me. Does he? I, I mean, do I? Oh, yes. I've really enjoyed our walk, Alan. But I'm flaming freezing. Yeah, I'm sorry, but, but it has been fun. And thank you. What for? Well, we're inspiring it. You bring out the playful in me. Down, Rover. <laughs> yeah, I'm freezing <laughs> too. Shall we wander back? <laughs> right then, that's your rush job finished. Cheers. Uh, who is it for? Uh, it's a uh, it's a favour for a business associate. All right, eh? Can you give me a name then? Lynn. Oh, from now on, Scott, no more favours, no more cut price jobs, and no more working at cost. Yeah, well, sometimes favours oil the wheels. Or help you pull. I'm serious, Scott. If you don't stop being so casual, we're going to be in trouble. Yeah. Hi, Richie. Hi. Is this it? Yeah, we've just been working overtime to finish that. Oh, thanks. Oh, anything for a friend of Scott's? Um, look, I'll be honest. I have got most of the money together, but I'm still a couple of hundred short. Oh, don't worry about it. Just give us what you got and uh, pay the Russian you can. Not here in official business, I hope. Afraid we know all about you and the missing communion wine. Oh, it's a fair cop. I'll show you where I hid the empties. <laughs> Maybe later. I'm actually on official bacon butty business, and that waits for no man. What's this? Our inaugural youth club disco. This will show them I'm not such an old fuddy. No, I mean, what's this? After everything that's happened, I thought it might do his confidence some good. Roy Glover's just done time for burglary. But that's all in the past. What kind of an example is this to set to young kids? Getting a convicted thief to run the disco? You're either naive or stupid. Roy's not exactly a hardened criminal. I'm sure there must have been extenuating circumstances. I see. And you know better than the magistrates, do you? Well, my kids won't be attending. And I tell you now, there'll be a lot of other parents who feel the same way I do. I think this is a bit of an overreaction. <laughs> and to think, you had the barefaced cheat to give me lectures about Ollie's behaviour. Myself, Alan. Well, if you'd like to repeat the pleasure, we could go for a really long walk. I don't know about that. The back of my calves are really feeling it. I don't think I'm cut out to be the rambling type. Well, that's a shame. But you could have dinner with me. Oh, yes, yes, my other hobby, food. How about tomorrow night? Yes, I, I should like that very much. I'm going to have a long hot soak in the bath. See you later, big bear. Can I get you a drink, Alan? Well, that, that's very kind. What have I done to deserve this? Mm. Funny you should ask. Gin and tonic, please. You dropped another baby in the font, Ashley. Sorry? Oh, you're looking proper sorry for yourself. <laughs> I didn't think something through well enough, and now it's causing me a problem. Anything you want to talk about? I haven't even got a coach driver's licence. You don't need one. It's just a little minibus. You could handle it, no problem. It, well, I may be retired, but I'm still fairly busy. Well, just think what you'd be doing for the local community. I don't follow. It's one of the main reasons I dreamt up this shopping bus. The village is full of old folk and infirm who don't have cars. This would be such a blessing to them. I hadn't thought of it like that. They'd get cheaper food, more variety, and a nice day out to boot. Everyone's a winner. 
Uh, and public transport around here is awful. Yes, it would be serving the community. Well, I know you're very pro-local community. I quite fancy the idea of driving a little minibus around the day. <laughs> well, obviously we can't pay you. Well, no, that's OK. As you said, it would be serving the community. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. It's not worth getting people's backs up. Why don't you have a little chat with Roy and explain the situation? Mm. But what message does that send to Roy? He's a, he's a good lad. Has made a bad mistake. I must show faith in him. And take the flack for it. Well, I asked Roy to do the disco for all the right reasons. Well, how about you make it more low-key? I don't follow. Don't broadcast the fact. Take Roy's names off the posters and advertise it as the youth club disco. It's a thought. But it's so important to me that I back Roy. But you are, by letting him do the disco. As ever, you're very wise. Well, it's much easier to be wise for other people. Most of us make a complete mess of our own lives. Is anything wrong between you and Gavin? <laughs> Why would you think that? No, I was just talking generally. Oh, good. You're very lucky to have someone to share things with. I often wish I had someone to talk to about how I feel. You know, you can always talk to me, Ashley. Well, work to do, eh? Absolutely. And thanks again. Can't you see how odd it will look, you being there? I want to see his coffin in the ground so you and I can draw a line under the past and get on with our lives. What if Spalding turns up? He'll get a flea in his ear. Please, don't annoy him. Look, he's got no evidence. He's got nothing on you. I don't want Spalding stung into reopening the case. <sighs> Give me strength. Right. I'll come with you. Well, you've changed your tune. If Spalding does come along, I want to be around to keep an eye on you. I suppose there's some sense in us showing a united front. Please yourself. God, I wish I could turn the clock back. But you can't, can you? And the sooner you come to terms with that, the better. He was our brother, and you killed him. Afternoon, Rev. Oh, come and talk. Oh, what's going on? Gig's not being cancelled, is it? Certainly not. All goes precisely to plan. So what are you taking posters now for? I, I thought it might be an idea just to keep it, um, low-key. Yeah, not fully. W one of our parents, uh, w well, she's not being very understanding about you. All uh, right, tell me more. I, I really want you to run this disco, but um, I, I've got to be diplomatic. So I, I thought if I took your name off the posters... Uh... You wouldn't be advertising the fact that you're letting a jailbird loose on your kids, would you? It's not like that, Roy. It flaming is. I thought you had faith in me. I do. Well, have the ball to leave my name on poster if a parent has a problem. Tough. Y yes, yes, but I, I, I've got to see all sides of the argument. Fine. All right, then what shall I do? Wear a mask on night so no-one can recognise me. <sighs> I just want what's best for everyone. Oh, stuff your disco. What? You heard. If you're too ashamed to put my name up posters, then stuff it. Come on, Roy! Thanks for support, Rev. Where are they? Still time for Spaulding to turn up, then. Oh, for goodness sake, Zoe. Oh, right, right. I still can't believe I'm here. How dare you? What are you on about? First you pay for his funeral. And you sought out his service. Now you're going to have him buried near Dad. This has gone too far, Chris. He was his son. This is his rightful place. It is not. He was a kidnapper and a psychopath. And even if he was a relative, he doesn't deserve to be buried anywhere near my father. Well, it's too late now. Are you doing this just to torture me? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Yes, isn't it? You're doing this just to make me feel worse about what's happened. He was our brother. All right, boss. Surprised to see you both here. And you. I did quite like him. Well, before we all found out what you'd been up to. Quite. And anyway, I kept thinking about that Beatles song, Eleanor Rigby. Buried in a churchyard and there were no one there. Nobody deserves that fate. You're the last person I expected to see here. Oh, you might say I wanted to see the book close properly. I think I know what you mean. See him off, then move on. Try and forget the whole damn thing. The uh, funeral cars have arrived. You all right, sir? Yes, I'm fine. Here we 
go, Pete? One empty, thanks. Yes, sir. Ah, usual, please. Ah. And how do we find you today? Happy as Larry. Oh. I'm glad you came in. I wanted to ask you something. Oh, well, uh, I'm all ears. <laughs> how would you like to have dinner with me tomorrow night? Oh, uh, well, uh, that would be wonderful. Uh, in fact, I could recommend a rather swish. No, no. Leave all the arrangements to me. Well, be my pleasure. Thank you. Excuse us a moment, Eric. What do you think you're playing at? You're supposed to be having dinner with Alan tomorrow night. Don't worry. All will be revealed. Paddy, the two months of free rent's up. We've got to make a decision now. I reckon we should buy the place off Zoe. We can't afford it. Well, renting's throwing good money after bad. And anyway, I want my own place. Don't we all? Yeah, if you hadn't have spent a fortune on doing the place up, we might have had someone who left for a deposit. <sighs> you told me to spend as much as it took. Yeah, I know, but I, I didn't know it was going to be a king's ransom. If you two are going to row all the time, I'm off when Roy arrives. Kelly, I'm sorry, but pig face over here is really getting me... That's enough, Bye. thank you. Hiya, can we go on? I thought we were having a drink with Mandy and Paddy. I'm not in the mood, can we just go? Well, what's happened? Somebody's complained about me doing the disco. Well, why? Because I'm not exactly a good example to set to children, am I? And Ashley's been a right coward over it. Oh, he's gone back on his word. No, I told him my stuff is disco. I'm not going to be no outcast, Kelly. Oh, Roy. Oh, I'll see you back at house. I need a walk to cool down. Oh, I feel awful, man. This is all my fault. Kel, as us dingles well know, once you give a dog a bad name. What do you mean? Oh, come on, Kel, get real. I've lost out on loads of opportunities because of my criminal record. Well, that ain't going to happen to Roy. No, no, man. We therefore commit his body to the ground. Earth to earth. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, we shall change the body of our low estate, that it may be like unto his glorious body, according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things to himself. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. 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 That it. All finished. Right, well, I'm assuming no one's planned the wake, so uh, I'm off. Me too. Thanks very much for coming, gentlemen. Whatever a man has done in life, the least we can do is offer him forgiveness in death. Yeah, whatever. Would you care for a cup of tea back at the vicarage? No, it's all right, thanks. I think I'll just stay here for a few minutes, collect my thoughts. Of course. If ever you want to talk, you know where I am. Don't worry, Zoe. It's over. if I join you. As a matter of fact, I do. Diane and I are enjoying a private little chat. Oh, come on, Eric. The more the merrier. <clears throat> the usual love. How come you're suddenly so popular around here? Because I've just made an old man very happy. Didn't think Turner was your type. Me is when it comes to running my new shop as minibus. Our Alan here is cheap, willing and available. A what bus? Your clever husband has just landed Tate Orledge a nice new contract. Shipping villages over to that new GK supermarket outside Hotton. A winner, eh? For you, maybe, but I'll tell you one person you won't be popular with. No? Who's that, then? Viv Windsor. You'll be taking all the trade away. Well, she's a post office, not a supermarket. Mark my words, Mr Wheeler Dealer. You go ahead with this little bus and she'll make your name mud round here. Oh, whatever. Business is business. <laughs> Lovely. Cheers. Same again, Diane. Mm, lovely. Cheers, Anna. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, big... What? What you're doing? <laughs> oh, sorry, Eric, I didn't see you there. Come on, Andy. Uh, a word in your shell, like, missus. 
Eric here is the biggest rat in the village, and if I was you, I'd have nothing to do with him. There's nothing wrong with Eric. Thank you. Oh, yeah? So why is he pressing assault charges against me? He's out to ruin my life. What's this about, Eric? Uh, a simple misunderstanding. Mandy here has just gone off the deep end, as usual. <laughs> if you had one decent bone in your body, you'd drop those charges. Don't worry. I'm going to. What? I always intended to. I just wanted to teach you a little lesson first. Well, why? Because I feel sorry for you. Another conviction on top of your already existing record, and they'll throw away the key. Cheat me! Ah! Just leave it. We've got a result there. Come on. <laughs> no need for thanks. <laughs> Come on. That was very forgiving of you. Yes, well, I'm not one to kick someone when they're down. <laughs> Please, Chris, I've had enough. Let's go. Yeah. Just ignore him. Fancy seeing you two here. Trying to make sure he's dead. Do you want a snack in the mouth? Oh, go ahead. I'd love a day in court with you. Maybe Chris is not worth it. No, I want a favour. You can go to hell. Off the record. What really happened in that cellar? Exactly what we told you, Inspector. Come on, just between the three of us. Satisfy my copper's curiosity. Who was Liam Hammond? Goodbye, Spaulding. Is he another long-lost cousin? I know all about the skeletons in your family cupboard. Was he another one? Had he been cheated out of something? You really think we're gonna tell you? Ah, so I was right. There is another story. Chris. <laughs> You'll never know. Well, with your family's track record, I'm sure we'll meet again. Clear off back to your grubby little job, Spaulding. Get off me! I hope what you've done doesn't give you too many sleepless nights. <laughs>